the camera hog. <laughs> she's, you know, she's pretty polite. She's keeping quiet, huh? Okay. Whenever you're ready, brother. Okay, so um, next let's, let's talk about your transition from WCW and now moving over to WWF. It's a pretty good story. Okay, let's I hear it. I got one for you. Um, what happened was things were changing because all the guys in WCW were spending Ted Turner's money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they were spending like it wasn't theirs. Mm -hmm. If they were spending their own money, they'd be writing a $80 check mm -hmm. or going to... Um, Pizza Hut instead of uh, Mellow Mushroom mm -hmm. Special, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're spending somebody else's yeah. money. It's yeah. easy to spend money yeah, when absolutely. it's not yours. Yeah. So somebody new came in. I think it was the Pizza Hut guy. What was his name? He ran a uh, chain okay. of Pizza Huts. He was like a chairman uh, of the board, yeah, CEO yeah, of Pizza. I was talking about uh, yeah. Yeah, my, I got his name. Illich or is Illich no, together? No, no, no. Little Caesars. Yeah, that's. The, no, that's uh, a big name. Well, anyway, he came up yeah. and kind of cleaned house. Yeah. yeah. So he wanted Giant Gonzalez to take a pay cut. And Giant Gonzalez signed a contract for three years. Mm -hmm. And his three year contract was up. Or he signed a two year contract. Okay. And his two years was up, mm -hmm. and they was ready to negotiate his contract. And say he was making 250 I don't yeah. know exactly the figures, but. Yeah. A little more, I think, maybe yeah, he, three fifty. Seemed like he was, I, I think I heard that he was making pretty good because they brought him in for the basketball money, you know. Right. Yeah. So he was making good money. Let's say five hundred. Mm -hmm. So they wanted him the new. Uh, Jim Hurd was a guy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 Jim absolutely. I, as soon as I heard it, I knew it. Yeah, okay. it's Jim Hurd. Jim Hurd. So they brought Jim Hurd in to manage, mm -hmm. micromanage. Yeah, and a lot of people didn't like him. That's for sure. Right. And he wanted immediately to cut the budget from. $18 million mm -hmm. to $6 million, like that. Mm -hmm. That's hard to do without yeah. disturbing without people's paychecks. Yeah. yeah. So they asked the Giant, hey, Giant, your contract's up uh, December 1st, and we're negotiating, and we're offering you half of what you made. Mm -hmm. And the Giant didn't like that. Yeah. So he didn't say anything. He said, they think about it. We'll get back with you. We still had 30 days left on our contract, mm -hmm. so we had to finish our dates out and so on. So the Giants pissed off. I didn't know this. So the Giant comes mm -hmm. up to me and says, Hey, Fonzie, did you hear what he said? They want mm -hmm. us to take a pay cut. Probably not come. Maybe come my pay too. Mm -hmm. Which was, you know, I had no, I wasn't Ric Flair, so I yeah. couldn't demand yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, so the Giant said, Fonzie, what, what's our options here? And now I was more of a friend, mm -hmm. an advisor. Yeah. Um, uh, spe you know, helping him out, an mm -hmm. assistant, yeah, yeah, and a referee all at one. We became really good friends. And I said, okay, here's your options, Giant Gonzalez. Oh, he got to say, your options are stay with WCW and take a pay cut. Go back to Argentina uh, in Europe and play Argentina basketball, mm -hmm. I mean European basketball. Yeah. Or maybe I can call Vince McMahon up because I know J.J. Dillon who's an assistant booker yeah. to Vince McMahon is his right-hand man. And J.J. loved me. He was Dusty's assistant booker mm -hmm. the whole time I was in the state of Florida. It was Dusty and J.J. They were pretty mm -hmm. good combination. J.J. is very articulate in uh, keeping facts, figures, names, numbers. Uh, very smart, borderline high IQ. Mm -hmm. Not a borderline uh, high it's IQ. Borderline very good. Yeah organized. So he was Vince's man. So he said, wow, Fonzie, do you know anybody in WWF? I said, yeah, I know the assistant booker. I don't know Vince, but I know J.J. Dillon. That's just like talking to Vince. Yeah, yeah. And he said, okay, you call him up. I said, I got the green light to call WWF up and negotiate a contract for you? He says, yes, you do. I said, okay. And at the time, we were at my house in Florida I lived in Lake Juanita mm -hmm. in Odessa, which is north of the airport, where Jack and Jerry Briscoe, God bless Jack, who just passed away, um, got a story about him too, stories about everybody, but um, stay to the format here. Um, so he said, okay, call up J.J. Dillon. So I called J.J. Dillon up out of the blue. Nobody knows that our contract's running out. J.J. hasn't heard from me. We don't talk to office to office. Jay, uh, Vince doesn't talk to Ted Turner. They don't like each other, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I call up JJ and I get right to his secretary answers. 
Priscilla, how can I help you? JJ second there. I said, hey Priscilla, this is Fonzie. Um, I wonder if I can speak with JJ. She says, hold on please. I get, I'm waiting for four minutes or something. Mm -hmm. And then JJ picks up the phone. He's not gonna blow me off. I worked right. with JJ for years. Hey Fonzie, hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. He's got twins, he's married, yeah. beautiful. Hey Fonzie, how you doing? Oh my God, I was every, well, uh, how can I help you? I said, okay JJ, here's our predicament. They want us to take a pay cut. We don't want to. We got we can go and Japan office wanted Giant Baba's office wanted him to sign a contract oh, with I'm Japan. Sure. I'm sure they would love to sign us, yeah. Yeah. Against okay, so Giant Baba mm -hmm. the line. Mm-hmm. So uh here's a dilemma. Um staying our contract's ending. I didn't say they want to take a mm -hmm. pay cut. I said our contract's ending in WCW. So we can stay there, we can go to Japan, we can go to Europe and play basketball. Or we can talk to you. That's what I'm doing. Talking to you. He said, well, Ponzi, what do you mean you're talking to me? He said, yeah, I um, want to see if you're interested in hiring the Johnny Gonzalez mm -hmm. and me as a package. Mm -hmm. I'm his personal assistant, and I don't cost much, JJ. Mm -hmm. He said, I know what you cost, Ponzi. Yeah. He's laughing at me for saying that. <laughs> I'm being humble. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get it. Yeah, you get know, in. You yeah. got to be humble. Yeah. Not kiss ass, but be humble. Yeah, yeah. So, Can't JJ says, uh, well, let me talk to Vince about it. I'll get back with you, Fonzie. What's your number? I said, 813-920-5333. That was my number at my old house. It's not his little call it now. I gave him the number, and I hung up and told the giant, because the giant was at my house. He had a spur on his heel, mm -hmm. and he had it cut out by mm -hmm. a foot doctor. What do you call him? Heel spur or a podiatrist, yeah. Podiatrician. So I um, had it cut out. We were uh, recouping at my house. Vince gave us a week off, and uh, so, and Giant Gonzalez had a golf buggy, he had five acres on Lake Bonita, so he was driving around in a golf buggy with his foot off. <laughs> it was a, a sight, my neighbors would go, oh my God, Fonzie's got an eight foot tall giant there. So I was the talk of the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, so I said, JJ said he's gonna call us back, but it don't look good because they would have been interested, they would have said something right now, you know?